Hey guys, so this could be a life savior during those notorious Texas storms and it's the Yoshino B2000 power station. If you've been following my Instagram, you'll probably see me sharing about the current state of Texas weather. It's tornadoes, hurricanes, high winds, storms, and these unpredictable weather that a few times leave us without powers for hours or days. I mean, just two months ago, a massive tornado knocked out a major power grid, then left us without electricity and even phone service for almost a week. It was dark and scary. Like, Quite literally, I put my drone up in the sky and I couldn't see anything for miles. The only lights that you can see at night while driving are the ones on your car. Yeah, that was quite an experience. So that's kind of why I'm excited about this solution. So let's get right to the unbox. So the B2000 comes in a sturdy package, making sure that everything comes well protected. So what you're going to find inside the box is the user manual that has detailed instructions on how to set things up, an AC recharge cable that is used to charge the station from a standard wall outlet, a cigarette card cable that lets you charge the station, let's say if you're camping or you just outdoors it also has this female output cable i think it's more for converting the power output and a solar charger cable that is made to be used with solar panels and that's great because this gives you sustainable energy the connections on this cable are xt60 ports that connect to the mc4 cable connections on the solar panels um it's very different i've never seen it the station also has a five-year warranty with a 10-year battery lifespan it is very quiet with cooling fans at 50 decibels meaning that it's just regular house ambient noise level if you have for example your ac on that's kind of how this is gonna sound when it's on it's also fairly lightweight and easy to carry with aluminum handles and a soft grip on an inside and setting this up is very straightforward first you want to download the app connect your wi-fi and add your device and you're ready to go which i name mine arc reactor shout out to comic fans the app gives you real-time monitoring for your device's performance and power consumption which is super handy so why is the b2000 so essential i'm not an electrical engineer or a power expert i'm just an end user like you who needs a reliable power solution so to put this in english the average american household uses about 1200 watts of power but the b2000 has an impressive 2000 watts of power this means it won't power your entire house but it can keep your most essential devices running during an outage for example for me the essentials include my fridge of course to keep the food from spoiling my setup hey because it would be nice to get some work done and my internet router because my internet runs on fiber it remains operational during power outages now talking about some key features of the b2000 it has a solid state battery which is a very impressive technology unlike traditional lithium batteries that use liquid electrolytes to put in perspective this makes less prone to catching on fire and is more durable and this is similar technology to what's being adopted in electrical vehicles to make them with a longer range and more safety so it's very good to see yoshino apply this technology and bring it to the portable batteries now going around the device it has multiple outputs it comes with two usb-c ports one with 100 watts and another with 20 watts two usb-a ports both with 5 volts each two dc power outputs that deliver 12 volts for specific devices on the other side it has four ac outlets running with 12 volts each and on the top a wireless charging pad with 15 watts of power meaning that can charge your iphone to 100 in just 30 minutes now there are three ways that you can charge this station first is ac charging outlet that just connects straight into your wall it will charge to 80 percent in about 45 minutes the other option is a car charging now you can plug into your car cigarette lighter and it takes about nine hours to get to 80 percent and this is just handy for example if you're outdoors like in a beach and camping the good thing is that you will still have power if you want to use your vehicle for example but the third option is the solar charging which uses solar panels and it takes about two and a half hours to get the 80 percent and the great thing about this is that it's for sustainable off-grid power solutions so speaking about solar yoshino offers just the b2000 by itself and a kit with one or three solar panels and i like these panels because besides being portable they are very handy and easy to carry the other cool thing about this besides the material i really love the material especially because of storage and you know just longevity is this two locking pins right here that helps basically unfold the entire thing so really dope and basically you do it on both sides and you just uncollapse the whole thing and of course you you can either keep this i don't know if it's just for shipping material i might keep it just because and the material of this thing feels super solid and it's like um i don't know if this is out uh, plastic or um i can't really tell what type of material this is but it sounds very sturdy and very durable and they also have like these pins um, right here on the very ends that you can kind of like drill them down or nail them down if you have the like, pin on the grass just to make sure they don't fly away or anything. Yeah, so 
They got three of these bad boys with their own pouches for cabling. And this is the unit that connects to the panel itself. And that's what's going to be connected in series with the other panels. Then go to the battery. Oh, and that's some damage from the storm. And that's some damage from the storm. Now I'm connected to that neighbor. I'm connected to that neighbor. This neighbor is connected to that neighbor. And she's connected to that neighbor. And this neighbor is connected to that neighbor. So yeah, the storm was wild uh, here in Texas. So the storm was actually the eye of the storm. It was actually right here at 110 miles per hour. But that's what we got to deal with in Texas. So here's a quick rundown on how to set them up. And we'll look at the charging performance in a minute. So first you want to unfold the panels and place them in a the location with as much sunlight as possible. Ideally, you want to position them in a way that is not direct towards your sun but kind of at an angle so you can get the most amount of sunlight as the sun shifts throughout the day and it's not a big deal and you don't need to be too technical because this is just for two and a half hours to bring your battery to full power then you want to connect your solar panels to each other each panel has a connector that plugs into the solar charging cable provided with the station you want to link the panels together if needed you connect the panels in series or parallel okay we're not going to get too technical because this is more on the electrical engineer side but basically the user menu can tell you which of the two is better to maximize maximize efficiency and speed of charging which i went with the series and what that means is just connecting them one after the other then you want to plug into the station and now that it's plugged up our device on the input now says solar right here so it's taking it about 135 watt and of course because we have nothing connecting we have a uh, output of zero there's nothing going out from the battery and uh it also says the uh temperature of the device which kind of help because being outside in this sun so based on how much sun you're getting it also says how much time remaining until it's at full power so so i think this part kind of just depends on the weather but it's pretty cool to see this data and uh, i don't need to be outside here on the hot weather so i'm out so just really quick looking at performance inside the charging speed when using all three panels with optimal sunlight it charges to 80 percent in about two and a half hours and with this speed it gives you a peace of mind that you have a reliable power source in case of like extended outages or just you know you're off the grid with two hours of charging time it's actually not bad and i think these panels serve very well giving you a backup charging solution when time is needed another thing is that while the station can serve as a backup power supply it's important to mention that it has a 20 millisecond delay when switching from grid power Power to battery power this means that it's not meant for devices that require an interrupted power supply but it's perfect for powering up things after an outage for example this wouldn't be the solution i would put in place to protect my setup against a power outage for that i'll need a device that has zero milliseconds so that in case of a power outage it can kick in extremely fast without letting my setup die or even damage my monitor or my other peripherals. To reduce energy loss and increase lifespan over time, Yoshino added GAN technology into the power station. And GAN is just an element that is being responsible to making chargers more faster and smaller, but still packing a punch. Now let's see this guy in action. I'll connect my entire setup and I'll show you how that looks like. So I'm plugged up, but the setup is off. But one of the things that is on is a subwoofer. And if you guys go here on the output, if you can see, it tells me it's drawing about 39 watts and it would take about 32 hours to 50 hours to kind of drain i think it's an average so let me power on everything with the monitor and the lights and see how much it changed oh man big difference so i powered everything and it jumped all the way to like 179 right now and it went down all the way to like seven hours so it's still pretty good you know if there's a blackout or anything i'm sure that i can even be still connected so i have speaker subwoofer dock monitor plugged up lights as well behind the monitor behind the desk and everything and that's why it's taking this much amount of power for the internet router didn't try yet but i'm sure it's not going to be so much different than this and it's cool to see uh you know this at a glance and being plugged up on the ac port they have a, like an always on feature that you know it's basically ac you know because dc part is very different from ac so the always on symbolizes the ac connection yeah so that's pretty cool about the app on this side this lcd is very useful for when you don't want to connect to the app it's showing you the time remaining till zero to your battery is drained and shows you the percentage of the battery of course and how much water is just going out another cool thing that i didn't mention is these places right here they kind of grouped and the only way to activate them for you to charge is by pressing this button right here so these are not just labels 
these are actual functioning buttons as well on the AC side. So if you want to use these ports, uh, just make sure you activate these buttons right here. According to Google, most fridges in America run anywhere between 300 to 800 watts of power. And in simpler terms, on a full charge, your fridge can stay up to roughly around seven hours. That's not bad because in case of a blackout, you can recharge your power station to full in just two and a half hours. So that means the B2000 can definitely handle the load of a fridge in case of a blackout. So that's not a quick review on it. The B2000 is a solid state powerhouse that is perfect to keep your essentials running during a blackout and it's versatile. It's very mobile and very high tech and very safe too, because of course, solid state. Oh, and with Father's Day coming up, I know you are dying to find a perfect gift for someone that just likes to be prepared or it's outdoorsy. So make sure to check my link in bio. Yoshiro has a Father's Day sales going on. So make sure you go check that out and see if that makes sense for you. With that being said, this is it. So if this video was dope, hit a like and a subscribe to your boy's channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.